Today, the global population is estimated to be about 7.7 .7 billion people, and that number is projected to be over 9 billion people just 30 years from now. And as the population increases, so will the demand for high-quality dietary protein, especially in developing nations. The world population is increasing, as is the demand for protein throughout the world. And so we have to work hard to make sure we're meeting those demands. As an agricultural farmer, I have less resources available to me than generations before us did. Land becomes less available as we continue to develop it. And feeding those crops to our cows to produce as much healthy protein as possible is what we're striving to do. We need technology to help us make all of that happen. The only way producers will be able to meet the global demands for protein and food safety is through proven and safe science-based technologies. The leading technologies that we offer for animal production today are really based on two core technologies. One is the targeted microbial solutions, which is live microorganisms that we can actually intervene in animal production systems. The second technology is really uh, refined functional carbohydrates, which is our yeast cell wall metabolites. In today's world, people are more and more interested and curious about how we're producing their food. They want to know that the animals are being taken care of, that the environment is being taken care of, that we're being good members of our community. And so we have a great story to tell. At the same time, as a farmer, I'm super busy taking care of the cows and growing the crops that I don't always have the opportunity and the time to bring people in and tell that story. So having a resource like the Farm Wisconsin Discovery Center available to do that for us and help tell the story is really important and a great opportunity for folks to connect to agriculture. On a global basis, meat producers, dairy producers have been challenged to respond to consumer demand to remove antibiotics from the animal production and grow out. One of the challenges they face is finding different technologies that can still help maintain the health and well-being of the animal. And certainly one of the opportunities is to use natural-based solutions to help producers make protein without antibiotics. By leveraging the power of science, we are lessening our dependence on antibiotics to produce meat, milk, and eggs, providing safe and affordable food to people around the globe. Arm & Hammer is uniquely positioned as the food chain partner that offers a comprehensive portfolio of food safety solutions and pathogen control. One of the other challenges is to ensure that we're producing high quality food that's free of pathogens. And when you take a look at the total food chain, there's some opportunities, whether it's in the feeding of the animal itself to reduce pathogens or in the food processing plant to use novel technologies to help control things like salmonella and E. coli that can have potential human health concerns. So we offer really an integrated suite of products that can help not only improve the performance and health of the animal, but also reduce pathogens before they go into the food plant. And then we have a suite of technologies that we can use to help control the salmonella or E. coli in the food processing plant. And again, it's really taken a holistic approach to food safety. Within the Targeted Microbial Solutions, the approach we take is really a customized approach. The word we use is understanding the microbial terroir, and it's a French word, it means sense of place, and it's really understanding that diversity and the challenges that each farm has and that's unique to that farm. And based on that, we can actually then develop unique solutions to control those pathogenic organisms specific to that farm. The products that Arm & Hammer produces allow us to milk the cows and provide a safe product for consumers. It also helps us on the agronomy side to put up the crops needed to feed the cows. And so all of that helps support and sustain our business. So I encourage others to develop a relationship with a rep like we have to be in the know when those new technologies are made available to us. We are really proud to be part of an industry that helps supply nutritious, affordable food around the world in a responsible way.